Good evening and welcome back to Vigante and Modi Abirondas. We're back with our wolf character here and about to enter a brand new run after a disappointing ending the last one. Um, in glorious fashion with our stopping abilities, which is one of the reasons I'm going with this character again because the stopping is just so much fun to do. Uh, so we're going to be stomping our way to victory once again here, hopefully. Artisan leather armor with damage reflection. Neat. And potion regeneration. We'll definitely want to come back for that. And I club scroll identify. Sure, why not? Okay. Let's start with our animal instincts of bear stomp here. And let's uh, let's knock this guy right off this, this right here right now. Just knock him off like that. There we go. Do it again. Just stun him. Stun him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Face the wrong way. Face the right way. Jeez. I really don't want the both of them up there. Okay, man, that sucks. Okay, get him out. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Let's get one of them to jump up here and we'll, we'll give him one little zap with our uh, roar. Maybe we can set him flying. Yeah, they took damage from each other. Oh, oh, don't want that, actually. I want to get that shopkeeper anger because that is the end of the run, usually. Come on, you. Come on, come on. Yeah, all right. Oh, boy. A little flaily. I'll, I'll admit that. Not a lot of uh, skill. Not skill, maybe. It was it was quick, quick reflex instead of, uh, you know, methodical way of playing this like you normally would. Oh, man. We got to get that open. We need to get that open. Here we go. Set it off. Oh, we have to get him in the right position for that, but we can do that. All right, there's a one coming around here. If we give him the roar... At the right moment, I guess we can just try to get the. Uh, that works better instead of just waiting around on it. Let's do this, and then this should let us jump. Oh, we can almost make that. There we go. Oh, we so we're so close. We can make this jump. There we go. And some boots. Fine reward. Double jump. That makes it a lot easier to get up there. It's like they actually knew. It's like, hey, you made this jump. You can actually get the double jump now. How about that? Treat yourself. Let's let's give these guys a little bit of a roar here. Cause they do damage each other when they hit each other, so we'll we'll do that. There we go. See, they're doing damage to each other. Oh, we're using we're using projectile slimes. There we go. Take one of them out. Let the last one come up here and smash him in the face. Awesome. All right, so I'm getting better at spotting the secrets, or maybe I'm just trying more things. Um, that could be could be a little bit of both. All right, gauntlets. So we got, we got the improved archery. Doesn't really matter that much, but uh, plus defense is nice. So we'll hang on to those for now. No downside of those just yet. And a wand of healing. Oh my god, that's so great. Okay, cool. So we got a wand of healing. We know there's a regeneration potion over there. Um, we'll find some recharge scrolls and such and such here. And we'll be in great shape. Whoa, got a little lucky there. Reason to go up there. Okay, there we go. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Couple guys there. Anything over here? Just the uh, slimy. Ooh, almost got him. Almost got him cleanly. Alright, we haven't found the boss here. Oh, it's the it's worm boss, never mind. I was gonna say we haven't found the boss, but we're not going to because we have to aggro it. Well, this might be a good spot to fight him if we can kill one of these slime buddies. All right, that's a good spot, um, I think. As long as the spikes don't accidentally kill us, like sometimes happens. Yeah, now we have to be careful there, I think. Do this. Yeah, I don't know if that's the best spot. Maybe over here would be a good spot to fight him, though. So we'll with a lot of, like, uh, nooks and crannies. That's what I was going to say. Go subscribe to Nook. <laughs> it's a product placement for uh, affiliated channels. All right. All right. I don't know where I want to fight this guy exactly. I think we want to go over here. If we can bring him over here safely. Okay, that's a good spot for me, actually. Wail on it! Wail on it! Wail on it! Alright, there we go. Nope! Not that one. Alright, there we go. Uh, okay. 
Come on down. There you go. That's a good spot for you, actually. Okay, that's pretty good. We're, he's gonna be close to dead, I think, already. And it's actually an excellent spot for him to be. There we go. Alright, one more time. Last turn, last turn. And we've got him. Oh, gosh. I wonder if we can stun him with this. Oh, god, no. Nope, I don't think we're gonna bother with it. Here we go. There we go. Alright, cool. So, now we just gotta get through that little jump here, safely, and then we've got uh, everything we need here. Oh, before we go down here, let's go back up here and grab the regeneration potion from him. Now we know what that looks like. And what else did he have? Uh, artisan armor. And scroll of identify. Nah, not worth it. Let's equip this, though. We're up to 80 of 90. Pretty good. And we have magic mapping. That's not going to be too helpful right now. And uncurse. Okay, so we know what those are now. And I don't want to drop that. Okay, pick that back up. Pick that back up. Alright, now we got to be super duper careful here. Tunic. Green tunic. Which is, attackers will sometimes be shocked. Minus strength. Ah, oh, it's too bad. And then we got some potions. One of regeneration. One of something else. Alright. That makes me nervous. Whenever there's a little gap there with the spikes, it always makes me a little nervous that it's gonna, like, glitch and I'm gonna hit by them just a little barely. Hate that. Hate that so much. Alright, so, actually, there's something up here we didn't actually explore. Hidden room that we missed. Let's get up there to that. Oh, don't wanna waste it like that! No! We can get it back, though, at least. It wasn't a complete waste, but it wasn't, uh, what we intended either there. We got the health back for it, at least, though. Boomerang. Alright, well, not the best of weapons. It seems to come back to you sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Um, be careful here. So we're at full health, but uh, we wasted a couple charges on our, our uh, wand. But uh, it's not the end of the world, honestly. Uh, okay, let's get to the next area here, then. Alright, so we're getting actually faster on these first areas. 7 minutes, 42 seconds. Usually it's about 9 minutes for the first area, so we're a little ahead of schedule. Eventually we'll play through an entire thing in a single episode, probably. Uh, the time is coming soon. Oh, get him at least one of those guys, please. Oh, my god. Well, you got shocked at least. Let's get our thing back here, and we got floor phasing. Now, I did look up floor phasing again. Uh, to make sure I fully understand it, because we did pick this up, like, last episode and never used it, because I'm not too sure how to do it. Um, oh, we got the boss already here. Well, jeez. It's not the best. Alright, let's use a scroll here. Oh, that's on curse. No, oh, that's not gonna help us. Let's use some potions here. And, uh, this one is stronger. Okay, that'll work for me. Um, do we have a weapon? Not just the wand, I'm not gonna use that on him. Hello, sir. Can you do your little jumpy thing and take those spikes, please? Take her all these spikes over here, please. Oh god! Oh my god. That guy. That little that little green guy. There you go. Break all the spikes, please. Then we'll, we'll fight you. One more. There you go. One over here. There you go. Okay, cool. Now, now we're gonna a good battlefield down here. This is actually perfect for fighting. Oh my gosh. Oh, you know what we can do, though? We have the ground pound, we can actually give him that. Give him a taste of the little, uh, strength stop here. Bear stop. Oh. Oh, man. Well, we can't hit him when he's jumping. That's the key there. Oh, wow. Let's give him a little taste of this. I forgot we had the double jump, too. Stop all the things. Stop all the things. Oh god. Ha, we got him. Cool. Alright. And, uh, yeah, it was good stuff, actually. A lot of fun. Um, if anything else, at least it's fun to do. Here you go, have this. Ha, <laughs> that works. If it's, I guess if it's super close range, I guess it works okay. Better than punching him, probably. Um, especially if it comes back that quickly. Oh god. No, 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 no. Yeah, 
Yeah, it was a little, little quick little jabs with it, maybe, or a good, a good way of handling it. Perhaps. Uh, because it's not very reliable as far as other things than that. Oh my god, we hit the box with it instead, though. That doesn't work at all. Magic mapping. Do we want to use a magic mapping here again? Um... You know what, we probably should, just because in the later areas we might... Well, we might have wanted to hang on to that. There we go, off the ceiling, wow, trick shot. Cool. Alright, there's another one. Come here, you want me to slide towards you. There we go. There we go. Boomerang to the face. Let's put him down the spikes there. Oh, wow, how did he hit me? What was that about? Double gold. Let's do this. Yeah, we can use the projectile slimes again here. Come on. Okay, cool. And a book of fireball. Let's use that and see what the fireball costs us to cast. 15. So we can actually cast it right away here. Now we've beaten the boss already, so let's uh, do this and put it very, very, very carefully right on top of that first spike there. Okay. The gloves. We have gloves already. Oh, we didn't. We have these. Uh, these ones equipped. Let's try these ones. Improved archery and minus strength. Would wait. So minus one strength with heavy punches. So I guess it, if you were using anything else besides punches, it probably will do bad for you, but, um... Oh, hello. This is our first close-range weapon, close-quarters combat weapon. Oh my god, we found one. So they do exist. Wow, all right, cool. So maybe we should try it out. Let's try out next next level we get here. We'll try out the CQC. Change direction with each attack. Okay, let's try this. Let's equip this thing here. Uh, does Spear Emitter, it's poisoned, it does it plus two dexterity. Does extra damage though. That's nice, okay, so that's cool. Um, well, we got the two that I want anyways. I don't think the third one is as good. Wolf Sprint is not something I want, so we'll do close quarters battling then is the next thing. Because I have all the good stuff already anyways. Like that. And this, especially. <laughs> Just catch a midair. Like that. Ooh, eight damage with that. Oh my god. And how are we gonna get that down there? I guess you need to have floor phasing on your boots to get that one. But uh, we are not going to do that. And we're actually gonna get rid of some of these gloves if we see a test statue to do that. There might have been a statue back here. I wasn't paying attention. Make sure there wasn't anything we missed. Alright, looks like there's a light statue plus whatever he's selling. Floor phasing boots. Yeah, we're gonna, we can't afford them anyways. Oh, do we want this though? Constitution. We don't have a helmet. Probably wouldn't hurt. Or Book of Flame Pillar. Okay, well, let's let's avoid it. Let's not even bother with it. We don't need to buy anything. We'll save our money. That chest is gonna have to go forego us too. But at least we got our level up though, so we'll get to another level here, and then we'll see what this close quarters ability is all about. So let's go to the next area, and we'll be leveled up. So we'll give it a little bit of this. We'll give it the brawler. I don't know what that means. It says... It says... Change the direction of attacks with close quarters weapons. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I don't know what that, what that, what that means. Um, change the direction of attack with close quarters weapons. Well, this is definitely... This is definitely what they're talking about, though. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure that's what they mean by close quarters weapons, but uh... Come on, there you go guys. Come on down here. I don't know how we're gonna do with these guys. Do I have any other spells? No. We could probably use this though, quickly. Let's do that quick ourselves up that way and any potions we can take potion of poison potion of regeneration we'll use the poison potion and then we'll switch back to this 
Alright, we really need to deal with those bats somehow here. Wow, did you see how far he flew? That was amazing. So knockback is real with this guy. Yeah, the bats really get knocked back with this thing. Fear remitter is nice. Ooh, hello. Saw you there. I just didn't think you'd go off with standing on you, but you did. Book of Fireball. Which you already have. Can we do this? Nope. Okay. He's underwater, so we can't hit him with that. Alright, so we have to deal with these bats somehow. Alright, let's do this. Alright, works for me. <laughs> uh, get our boomerang back here. Yeah, I love seeing, seeing those guys go flying. Alright, can we give him a little bit of this? Oh, that works. Okay, well, if we can get our thing back and then get out of here without dying. Oh my gosh. Get out of the water! We hit these guys with their jump, and we don't think that we can. All right, there we go. That'll work. Leather armor. All right, let's uh, do we have a scroll of identify. We have an uncursed scroll, but we can see what this is. This might be a recharge. There we go. Cool. We got lucky and jump. Hope we don't need that. Um, we can't learn. We learned fireball again. Okay. Wait, did it, does it make the cost go to from 15 to 14 when we did that? Does that mean spells get cheaper the more you get them? Interesting. I don't think that helps us a whole lot. Uh, we want that, I think, right? Overall, yeah, we probably want that. Fire resist. I think we haven't fought the... We haven't fought the dragon yet, so we will be fighting the dragon in this area anyways. So fire resist is a very good thing to have. And the poison is nice on this weapon. Alright, those guys are gonna kill themselves, I think, on spikes. Oh god, okay. We have to go quick through here. Copper sword. And bam. Alright. Oh, a lot of stuff in this one that I don't like. A lot of bad things going on. Bam. But I do like that, at least. Oh gosh. Trying to get him to ground pound in the water, ground pound in the water there, but oh, I don't like this. I don't like this jump at all. Oh, I hate this jump so much. I missed it. I missed it last time. <gasps> oh my god. If we can't go up that way, I don't know what we're gonna do. Okay, let's do this way. Hope we don't have to go that way. Oh my god, we do have to go this way. Come on, get me, get me out of here. Okay, here we go. Get out of here. All right. Oh, two people that game, buddy. Yeah, we both got that move. Yeah, mine works a lot better than yours, actually. <laughs> Alright, give more taste of that. There you go. Oh, he's on, he's on fire. We're on fire. Well, let's take a regeneration potion here quick. And we have the wand also. I really hope we don't have to go up there. Alright. I really hope we don't have to go up there. Because that's, that's an impossible jump to make. We do have double jump though. We can. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we got the double jump and just like the exact thing we need for that particular situation. Oh, glad we are through that part and then we're not going back down for any reason. I don't care where the chest is, we'll forego the loot in this area. I think it's right here though. So we don't have to. right here. Oh, nice. So we get Greaves, but Double Jump really saved our lives there, so I don't know if we want to even attempt the waters here. Um, sink like a stone, not something I'm interested in. Alright. We don't want to tempt fate, I think, with this, uh, this area here. Just forget that whole thing exists. Oh, here we got Boulder Protection! Awesome! And we don't have even have a helmet yet. And wall phasing. Yeah, we're not gonna... The wall phasing theft that we did that one time. Uh, unless you're the rogue, there's no point to that. So, 
Little by both those things, yeah, because the guy sees you every single time. Even if you're this close to the exit, he might still see us. And then it's like game over. So it's a huge risk for very little reward, especially if we can afford everything. Because money, uh, you know, it doesn't really buy you too much usually. So might as well use it when we get the chance. And I guess we can use it for the, the light statue when we see it. Okay, let's equip this. So we have boulder protection going into the next area. And some of the stuff we can get rid of, I think, because I don't think we want to give up uh, what we have as far as the gloves go. So another uh, level, another point gained. Let's see what CQC is next. Hold to attack to hold attack to charge hits with close quarter weapons. I think we'll try that too. So let's try it now. Here we go. Oh my god, look at this. Bam. Okay, oh, so we really gotta like pick our spots for this thing. All right, let's give it. Uh, actually, you know what? We're at 20 minutes for this episode, so let's wrap it up here, and I'll come back next episode to finish up this run, uh, one way or another. We'll finish it up next episode. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.